Good evening. Welcome to Hallenshire and Happy New Year. Uh, so Spring River Homestead, we take your challenge and the five best things that happened this year. This was really a good year for us. And I know a lot of people feel like this year was bad. There were bad things that happened definitely, but for us, this was an awesome year because after 10 years of dreaming and planning and working, we have our homestead. So that happened, uh, we started the buying process in March. We moved in in June. It was smooth and easy and um, we're just, it, we're thrilled. It's awesome. Anyway, uh, so Spring River Homestead, you asked us what was the best tool that we bought this year. Uh, we were just starting out and so um, we didn't buy a lot of tools because we were like trying to keep funds, you know, manageable. But I did get a, a fence post puller. And honestly, um, this, this homestead came with a lot of fences, but they were set up for horses. And uh, a lot of what we planned to do, we needed to pull those fences down, we needed to change where they were. And so the fence post puller has been a really nice piece. Um, biggest accomplishment, um, we bought our homestead. <laughs> But then in addition to that, also for the first time ever, I made bacon. And that was really fun. I used a uh, online recipe from a YouTube channel and um, we did, uh, got the little smoking tube and we smoked it in the, the uh, barbecue grill and it turned out amazing. So we'll definitely be doing that again. Um, a skill that I learned making bacon. Uh, also, um, each winter my plan is to learn a new skill. Um, this year I focused on fermenting and the one that I feel like I actually have got the skill, I've learned it and I feel good about it is kombucha. Um, I've really enjoyed working with that and learning how to make kombucha and we've done some experimenting. Blueberry is my favorite flavor. Um, done a few other options and things and it's been fun. We also tried kefir, didn't really care for it, milk or water. Um, I've been doing some sourdough. I haven't been able to successfully bake a loaf of bread yet, but oh, it makes some good pancakes. And we've also used it in biscuits and crepes and muffins and other things like that. So that's been a lot of fun. Um, our new animal, um, we, all of our animals are new to this homestead and to us and to this time, but we have never kept pigs before and we really wanted to do that. And so um, when we got here, pretty much the first thing we did was get pigs. And we got two young feeder pigs um, and we raised them out and butchered them and we learned a lot. <laughs> Uh, I will definitely do things differently, but we are getting pigs again this next uh, season. We've got plans that are coming on the 15th of April. Um, we learned that you don't raise boars, um, certainly not two of them together. Um, we learned that you don't have two small pigs and then add a very large pig to the mix. Um, we learned that a 600 pound Duroc Burke cross sow can do a lot of damage to the fences when she's in heat, especially if she doesn't like the boys you put her with. So we, we learned that. Um, but we had, um, and we learned about uh, pneumonia, pig pneumonia, and um, some of our, our videos on here talk about Porky and his experience with pig pneumonia. Um, we, we definitely will do pigs again, but I think we're gonna do, um, we're gonna try pastured pigs, not because pigs eat grass, they're not ruminants, but because they need to be moved so that there's not the smell and the flies and all the hassle that goes with that, keeping them in one small place. And they did a lot of damage to the barn, which I'm not thrilled about that either. But um, they were fun to, to work with. Um, they're intelligent, they're sweet, they're friendly, and um, we learned a lot from them, and I am looking forward to doing them again starting in April this year. We will have pigs for sale, um, 
pork for sale in probably October, November of next year. Um, best moment was our first day here. Um, coming out here and moving in and getting all settled, it was kind of hubbubby and crazy and we had friends come and help us move, which was wonderful. And then that first morning we got up and we made hot cocoa and we went out on the front porch and we drank hot cocoa and we just enjoyed the early morning on our farm for the first time. And we could hear the roosters in the distance crowing and we could hear the neighbor's donkey braying and we could just be outside and it was just really, really nice. So that was our first, our, our best moment, um, was our first day, full day here. There have been lots of times like that, just, you know, stepping out on the front porch to see the sunset or to look at the stars. Um, generally, it's really quiet here, except for those roosters and, and the neighbor's donkey, which those are good noises. I don't mind them. Um, so, yeah, it's been, it's been a good year. And we've got a lot of plans and dreams for next year. Um, our greenhouse is gonna have to go in. Um, that's planned for probably March, maybe April. Um, we've got pigs coming in April. We're gonna do meat chickens again this year. Um, we're keeping our, our layer flock that we have. We'll probably increase that by quite a bit. Um, we're gonna be building up uh, the orchard and getting that ready to go. And also I have an herb garden, a flower garden plant that probably won't happen this season, It'll probably be next season, but it could happen. Um, so anyway, um, one of the reasons why we haven't been posting very often, because we don't really have good internet here, that is hopefully going to change very soon and we will be back to posting content. So um, that's another piece that we're hoping happens more this next year also got some great ideas for some kitchen content and uh, I want to take you guys along for some of the, the lessons that we learn um, first year first full year really homesteading and all the builds and the projects that are going on so anyway thank you Sprague River for bringing this up it's a good uh, fun project and um, we'll see you next time happy day <laughs>